New from the NBC 10 I team tonight, a state police probe into the Cranston Police Department is about to break wide open. It all started with a parking ticket scandal and it grew from there. With allegations flying, legal bills mounting, I team reported Parker Gavin and shows us the scope of this investigation. He initiated the internal investigation as a result of an inquiry made by Channel 10. December 2013, a week before Christmas. Few knew it at the time, but the Cranston Police Department would never be the same again. Live. Cranston Police Chief begins an investigation into excessive ticketing. On another I-Team investigation, this one into parking tickets in Cranston. We're going to look into all the facts and circumstances, interview the officers that worked that night. The aftermath of a parking ticket scandal rocks the city. In November of 2013, more than 100 cars are tagged with tickets parked in the wards of two city councilors. Retribution, they said, for their votes against a police union contract. The the order came from Captain Stephen Antonucci, who is also president of the police union and supporter of Mayor Alan Fung. Antonucci admits he gave the order, but says the councilman had asked for stricter enforcement. That's just ridiculous. Uh, I don't run the police department. With this letter, Mayor Fung requested state police investigate the ticket scandal. Colonel Stephen O'Donnell placed two troopers at police headquarters. Chief Marco Palumbo abruptly retired. Sources tell the I team he was forced out. And then, we are announcing the recommendation, and that is a recommendation of termination for Cranston Police Captain Stephen Antonucci. The police captain has filed multiple lawsuits to fight his firing, a process unfolding under the police officer's Bill of Rights. The International Brotherhood of Police Officers is footing his legal defense. Taxpayers, on the other hand, have paid approximately $200,000 in salary and legal bills. He's been on paid leave for 13 months. The ticket scandal was just the tip of the iceberg. When state police began running the day-to-day -day operations of this department, a tangled web of factions and loyalties met them head-on at the front door. It was actually greater than abuse of power. Captain Todd Padalano told the NBC10 I team that he was the target of former police chief Marco Palumbo, forced to stay home for 20 months on administrative leave. Padalano's legal bills mounted. Between salary and lawyers for both he and the city, nearly half a million dollars. His attorney, Joe Penza. The most egregious abuse of police power I have ever seen in 42 years of representing officers in the state. The I team learned other officers and police employees were put on leave too. More lawsuits and grievances were filed. At the helm of the city, Cranston Mayor Alan Fung. Had this kind of mismanagement occurred in a business, the mayor would have been fired. During his run for governor, Fung took criticism at how he was running his own department. You have to trust the individuals that you put into place. But as public safety commissioner, doesn't the buck stop with you? Everything stops with me. We're beginning a new chapter in law enforcement for the city of Cranston. That new chapter began with the hiring of Lieutenant Colonel Michael Winquist of the Rhode Island State Police, the same force brought in to investigate. Quickly, the relationship became strained. The NBC 10 I team broke the story of Mayor Fung secretly trying to bring Captain Antonucci back to the force. The new chief, we learned, did not think it was right and was willing to stand on principle. Winquist's job was on the table. The mayor didn't want to discuss what had happened and was visibly upset when we questioned him, bringing up a story we had run during his failed campaign for governor. You know what? Did you ever find out who sent that email? Uh, because, you know, it's Chief just, it's just, you know. You don't want to answer our questions, mayor? And you can bet there will be more questions for City Hall and soon. We can tell you the state police have compiled a massive report on what they discovered here. Hundreds and hundreds of pages. Sources tell me that report will be made public within a week. I'm IT reporter Parker Gavigan, NBC 10 News. If you have a tip for Parker and the NBC 10 I team, call 401-455-9123 or send an email to iteam at wjar.com.